MCAT 2015 crown. Physical Foundations question. Flashcard 7. Acceleration down an inclined plane with friction. An 8 kilogram block is placed at the top of a plane inclined by 30 degrees with a coefficient of kinetic friction of 0 0.1. Okay, so here goes our block at the top of the plane, our 8 kilogram block, our incline of theta equals 30 degrees, and our kinetic, um, our coefficient of kinetic friction of 0.1, okay? What is the block's acceleration down the ramp? So this is what we're trying to figure out, the acceleration down the ramp. Is it A, 5 minus radical 3 over 2 meters per second squared, is it B, 5 minus radical 5 over 2 meters per second squared? Is it C, 10 minus radical 3 over 2 meters per second squared? Or is it D, 10 minus 5 over radical 2 meters per second squared? I'll give you a moment to strategize and figure out your answer in a few thought steps. And definitely press pause if you need to. Okay? All right. Okay, let's get on with the solution. Okay, so in order to find the acceleration, we must obtain the net force. A free body diagram will show that the forces acting on the block is motionless in the direction that's perpendicular to the plane, but is present in the direction parallel to the plane. All right, so the two forces acting on the block are mg sine theta, and the uh, mg sine theta comes from the gravitational force, all right? And the, um, the, the force of friction, the force of kinetic friction that is acting directly against the motion um, upwards along the plane, okay? So this is also the force. Um, that's acting on the block. So we have mg sine theta and the force of friction, all right? The frictional force, as you can see here, is going to be the product of the normal force and the coefficient of kinetic friction. So, um, so the F friction, the frictional force, is again the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. And I'll show you in a little bit why this is the normal force. So since the axis perpendicular to the plane shares the angle theta with respect to the direction of the gravitational force, okay? We determine the value of the gravitational force down the slope of the plane surface to be mg sine theta. And the value of the gravitational um, force perpendicular to the plane is also going to be the value of the normal force that the um, surface pushes up against the block, okay? I show this in, I think, flashcards set two or three of the series. So be sure to watch that more so you can understand why this is. Um, so the uh, force perpendicular to the plane, and which is also going to be the magnitude of the normal force, is mg cosine of theta. All right. Therefore, the frictional force is F friction equals mu sub k mg cosine of theta. And just in case I just confuse the heck out of you, let me break this down a little bit in terms of geometry. Let's pretend this is a triangle this inclined plane, and let's pretend um, the resolution of the gravitational force into this parallel vector and this perpendicular vector is also a triangle. We can then say that these are two similar triangles, okay? So theta is opposite the shortest leg, and therefore uh, theta here is opposite the shortest leg. And, you know, whatever leg is opposite the um, theta, that's going to be modified by sine theta. 
and the leg that's adjacent to theta, the angle of interest, is going to be modified by cosine theta. And since we know the original um, vector, that's what we're modifying. So we have mg modified by cosine theta. And again, this is the leg opposite the um, angle theta. So we have mg modified by sine theta. And of course, you can see, say, oh yeah, this could, this definitely can't be theta because this would be our 90 degrees, hence giving us a right triangle. There's also an invisible 90 degree um, square here as well. But that's not the case, okay? Um, 60, this is 60 degrees. And the reason why it's not the case is because the shortest leg, again, has 30 degrees opposing it, okay? So I would have to do a long theoretical proof to prove why these are similar triangles, but just note that they are, okay? So if you get stuck on a problem, you can just look for the long leg and shortest leg and then, you know, assign the angles correspondingly, all right? Okay, so the net force down the ramp um, is the difference between the two forces, um, mg sine theta accelerating, it's accelerating in the positive direction, we're going to say that down the ramp is positive, and then we have um, the force of friction going against this, so we're going to assign like this north uh, east direction as the negative direction, okay? Therefore, we have that F net is equivalent to mg sine theta. And if, um, okay, I'm not going to repeat this, minus the force of friction, which is also equal to mu sub k mg cosine theta, okay? And if we divide F net by um, the mass, according to Newton's second law, we're going to get the net acceleration. But we know that our net acceleration is equivalent to all this mess with the m or the mass divided out. Okay, so it's going to be equal to g sine theta minus mu sub k g cosine theta. And lucky for us, we know all these terms already. And if you, if you feel like you don't, I'm going to show you why in a sec. So instead of writing 9.8 meters per second squared for g, since we don't have a calculator on the MCAT, we can approximate it at 10 and that should be okay. All right, so we have 10, the sine of 30, we just plugged in our values, minus 0 0.1 times the cosine of 30, okay? So we see here that if we multiply 10 times 0 0.1, that's just going to be 1. So that's cool. This, these kind of cancel each other out. So we have 10, the sine 30, minus the cosine 30, okay? So you should have memorized uh, the sine of 30 and the cosine of 30, as I urged you to do in a previous um, video set. And I do have uh, another flashcard set which quizzes you on these. So you definitely want to go through those as well. And if you don't know how to locate them, use the search feature on my channel page or just inbox me and I'll send you the link. All right. So 10 times 1 half, because the sine of 30 is 1 half, and these two just kind of become 1, so we can ignore that, times radical 3, the uh, divided by 2, so that's the cosine of 30, or some people prefer to say the square root of 3 divided by 2, okay? So when you combine these terms, what we can basically do um, is simplify this, and we kind of sort of just get rid of these two, and that becomes 5 minus radical 3 over 2. So the correct answer choice is answer choice A, okay? This is the acceleration. 5 minus radical 3 over 2 meters per second squared. Don't forget your dimensions. All right? Okay.